Hello, I'm the Ogre Kendrick, and this video is sponsored by Audible. You know, like about a third of the internet. We all know audiobooks are awesome. They let us experience new worlds, explore new ideas, and learn new things, while all the while giving us a built-in excuse to ignore the idiots we're all surrounded by. But audiobooks do have their flaws. Sometimes it is a good idea to actually be aware of what's going on around us. You know, for reasons. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 111st birthday, with suddenly Boromir came and sat beside him. Are you sure that you do not suffer needlessly, he said? I wish to help you. You need counsel in your hard choice. Dangerous, cried Gandalf. And so am I, very dangerous. Well, I'm back, he said. Sometimes the narrators of audiobooks take their job a little too seriously. It was the best of times. <laughs> it was the worst of times. Oh. <laughs> it was the age of wisdom. Sometimes. You want to take notes or mark important information, you know, like when studying or researching. Only the moon ice erupted all around the equator. Though she was sealed up inside the windowless hulk, Zoe saw what was coming through a multitude of sensors. Saw by the deep radar and the gravitational sensors the churning of the singularities of the archive. The huge... And sometimes we need to be able to search quickly through a book to find things in a way that simply scrubbing doesn't accomplish. Remember when I briefly mentioned mitosis in passing a couple of chapters ago? I hope so, because nothing will make sense to you if you don't. It might be wise to review it now. Anyways, the cell. Which brings us to neurotoxins. This is called parasitism, which occurs when one organism, which interacts with the peptide bonds in order to, like saprophytes, which eat dead matter, surprising as that may be. That's why I am so proud to introduce Audible's new service, Inaudible. A service for when audiobooks aren't the right choice. Inaudible listens to audiobooks and creates a written word-for-word -word transcript and prints it on paper. The paper is then neatly bound for your convenience, including margins where you can make notes, and the entire thing is often decorated with cool cover art. And one of the best parts is that instead of merely ethereal digital content, you get to own an actual physical object which you can display with pride. And Audible sent me a few samples and look how they just brighten up the room. Be sure to use code OGRE at checkout to get 15 free pages spread out over your first five books. And the first 200 people to click the link in the description will get a signed copy of The Odyssey. Hurry. And Audible. Because sometimes, an audiobook just isn't the right choice.